Am I the asshole? For not making my son apologize to his mill after an argument? I am 41 and married to my wife F37. I have two kids from my previous marriage, B15 G13. I am Jewish, as was my first wife before she passed. My current wife is not. We have no kids together. My kids have always got along with their stepmom and her family fairly well, until recently. Thanksgiving with my wife's family is a huge affair, and it's the only chance a lot of the family has to see each other during the year. My kids and I do not eat pork, but there are always options for us where we bring something we specifically can eat, like vegetarian lasagna. Wednesday night I had dinner with my wife's parents at their place. I should mention that my wife is not very personally religious although she attends services with her parents monthly. My PIL are very, very conservative style evangelicals. We mostly don't talk about our religious difference although I once had to stop my mill from encouraging my daughter to be baptized. Everything was fine until the end of the meal when my mill crossed her arms and said see, we told you nothing bad would happen. I asked her what she meant. My mill said she had mixed bacon into one of the dishes a casserole to prove a point to us. I tried to ask very calmly why she would do something like that. My mill said it was to show that there was no point in following the Old Testament law anymore. I asked my Phil if he knew what she had done and he said yes. He seemed more uncomfortable but he talked a bit about how Christ came to free us from the Jewish law and that they wanted to show us how we could be freed from the law as well. He has worked as a pastor in the past. By this time my daughter was crying and left the room. My wife got up and followed her. My son has been growing more observant as he gets older he is more observant than me or my daughter. He flipped out. He screamed at my PIL that they were terrible people, called my mill some very nasty names, and said he never wanted to come back. My Phil started shouting back and my mill started crying. I told my kids to get in the car and then told my wife we were leaving. She told me she would stay at her parents so she could help with Thanksgiving prep the next morning. I was texting with my wife on TG and she told me my son is not welcome to come until he apologizes for the things he called my mill. I told her that's ridiculous but she is siding with her parents. I told my kids we would not be attending Thanksgiving. Instead we ordered Chinese and watched movies. My son was fine with it but I could tell my daughter was down. She missed out on seeing a lot of friends she has in my wife's family. My wife is still at her parents as of now. I should mention that I too am very angry at what happened and what I feel is the disrespect shown to me and especially my kids. I am torn on whether to encourage my son to apologize contingent on a mutual apology to us. Am I the asshole? Edit 1. The title says my son and his mill. I meant my mill, his step-grandmother. Not the asshole. I'll be honest if my eels had pulled a similar stunt and my spouse decided to stay with his parents afterwards, he would not be welcomed back into my home. The level of dishonesty and disrespect is astounding. I cannot imagine a way back from that. Not the asshole. Please don't make your son apologize. I am a Jew who privately thinks the laws of Kashrut are silly, but when my observant relatives come over, I bend over backwards to accommodate them. Have you seen the price of kosher turkey lately? Your wife does not respect you or your children. That's the main thing you should be focusing on. I'm so sorry for you. Added messed up grammar. Not the asshole you do not mess with food. I don't care if your reasoning is religious, medical or just plain old choice. You do not meddle with food. If your mill is not willing to apologize for what she did then why should your son? Nope no apologies from your son. What your wife's parents did was foul and abusive. In lots of jurisdictions, it would qualify as assault, and they could be prosecuted for it. Why the hell would you ever want to go back in that house? Not the asshole. I was texting with my wife on TG and she told me my son is not welcome to come until he apologizes for the things he called my mill. One thing we'd agree on is that your son is never setting foot in that house again. Instead we ordered Chinese and watched movies. Ironically, that is the Jewish tradition for Christmas in NY. Not the asshole your mill crossed a huge line. Was it rude for a teenager to swear at his grandmother? Yes. Was it warranted? Absolutely. They're focusing on his bad behavior rather than dealing with how awful and abusive and disrespectful your mill was. If your wife doesn't see the problem here, you need to leave her. This kind of behavior cannot be tolerated or excused. Be proud of your children for standing up for their boundaries and for not allowing someone else to walk all over them that's something you want to reinforce, not undermine. Don't participate in your wife's family's gaslighting. Not the asshole. Honestly, 
It's really troubling that your wife can't see your side and is mad at your son instead. Nta, this is a bigger issue than you think and your wife is enabling it. Your mother-in-law rubbed it in your children's faces, please do not force your kid to apologize. This was religious discrimination bordering on assault. Not the asshole, though your wife is for staying at her parents. Not the asshole it is unacceptable to spike someone's food because you are a religious zealot. I think you should cut all ties from the PIL and explain how disrespectful, rude, and offensive it was to do or put magic mushrooms on their pizza, and say what it comes from earth and the tour is okay with it but then you are just also the ah but revenge though is something too. Not the asshole, your wife's parents are aggressively anti-Semitic. It is your responsibility to stand up for them. Your wife needs to see that they broke a commandment by lying to abuse you and your children. Not the asshole but you know this will lead to a divorce with your wife. You do know this right. Not the asshole. Also divorce the woman willing to have her parents bulldoze your kids boundaries. Absolutely do not even suggest your son apologize to your mill. Her smug comment that nothing bad would happen is infuriating. Of course nothing bad immediately happened. It's not a health issue, nobody was going to go into anaphylactic shock from having their religious beliefs blatantly violated. But it's still a huge violation. Did your wife know of this beforehand because she didn't seem upset on your behalf at all, she reacted without any surprise at the events. Also, Jesus was Jewish. I wouldn't forgive them until they spend a year, studying Jewish law and maintaining a kosher diet. Not the asshole I'm sorry that happened to you and your children. If your in-law's religion is so important to them, they should fully understand how important yours is to you. If anyone owes anyone an apology it's them to you guys. Not the asshole. What a horrible and nasty thing to do. Are you sure your wife didn't know about it? Not the asshole. They were egregiously and outrageously out of line and disrespectful. As is your wife for siding with them. I would think long and hard before you had children with this woman. She's as toxic as they are. Not the asshole. I'm not very religious, but that doesn't change the fact that I respect others' beliefs. What they did was absolutely disrespectful, AMD though nasty name calling is too. I'd not insist your son apologize until at minimum the PILs understand and offer one of their own. Ah, uh, I know in some circumstances this would be considered like assault. Didn't the idiot who put bacon on the handles of a Jewish church do jail time for it? Like it's a hate crime. Not the asshole, the fact your wife is siding with them at all is utterly insane. Not the asshole. I think, they got it the wrong way here you are no longer going to their house nor are they welcome at yours until they apologize to you and your kids. Why the hell is your wife still at her parents? Let me guess, she was aware of and or supported this? Your in-laws and wife are gaping oz. Not the asshole. I'm Jewish and my wife has some very religious aunts and uncles. They are very polite and pleasant when we get together, but I also know that they believe deep in their hearts that I will burn in hell when I die. You can't have a real relationship with someone who feels that way. Not the asshole, neither is your son, fuck your in-laws, and have a good Hanukkah. Not the asshole. Your wife didn't stay to help with prepaying for Thanksgiving. She stayed to prepare for the conversion of your children. Being on your mill's side is just the first step. Not the asshole I would tell them that we will not be stepping foot in that home again until they demonstrate respect for our beliefs and apologize for massively overstepping and intentionally and surreptitiously feeding us food they know we do not eat. The disrespect on this account is far more unforgivable than some harsh word shouted in anger. This was premeditated. Further. They are also not welcome in our home. Line drawn, boundary set, discussion over. Not the asshole divorcer. Don't let her parents near your family. When people show you who they are, believe them. Not the asshole but your wife and her parents both are. Not the asshole. There's no hate like Christian love. And it's amazing frightening. How many situations that applies to. Not the asshole. Messing with someone's food is unforgivable. This is an issue of consent, healthy boundaries, and self-determination. Please don't teach your son that he must apologize for standing up for himself. Your son owes no one an apology, but your in-laws definitely do. The fact that your wife has stayed with them, and not rigidly sided with you is something to be explored in couples counseling. Your wife and in-laws should be deeply ashamed of themselves. Not the asshole. No. Do not apologize. You need this moment to teach your son that someone doesn't get to trample on your beliefs because they think theirs is better. You need to tell your son that maybe he was extreme in his actions, but standing up for himself was the correct choice. Not the asshole. 
Your PILs are exactly that. Jai at once. And your wife is so wrong. She and her parents owe you and your children a sincere apology. Not the asshole. Did your wife know?